Okay, so let's start with, with uh, this exercise with every class. It goes like this. All of us need to bend our legs in order to have the same rhythm in this exercise. So I go for my friend, she goes up, then we bend our legs together and for the other side. The third time, she has to pass underneath. And I continue kicking. The one who kicks needs to work his balance. And try kick as far as he can. So we'll be training one exercise on the floor and uh, the other exercise is going to be using mostly our legs so we won't get tired. So we're going to work, now we just work our legs. Our, our hands are really touch down the road. So we're going to go now for the first sequence of mastery down sequences. I'm going to stay in the Lua. She goes to the Chiba. From here, I'm going to take her to kick her leg in order to get her to this position. And now I'm going to kick her feet. So it's one fake, second fake, and the third. Let's try right. to have it flowing. That's the beat. By it doesn't have to be. It can also be slow. Let's try right. again. Let's try again. Right. Both parts have to be in the same, in this idea of flowing, instead of like mechanic. At start it's okay, but when you get advanced, you gotta get your flow to also. So we're gonna have the same idea, instead of kicking the other French, we're gonna kick the other Compasso. She's gonna go out for two times, and the third time she's gonna do Bob Marley. Finishing the part there. Try not touching the ball. I'm gonna try to kick as far as I can. Yeah. And there she goes. <coughs> Waiting for the last moment. I'm here. Ooh. I'm there you kick me. And then the next moment, I drink her. So we're gonna continue with this. We just did the first sequence, and now I'm gonna go to the second sequence. We we'll start like this. I'm gonna go. I need. I have to show her I'm gonna keep my friend, so she goes to the negativa. I wanna convince her. From here, without her noticing, I need to get my legs together, and then take a step forward, backwards. Sorry. And the same leg will be keep, keeping the other to go faster. So it's almost as one leg is doing the whole move. One, getting it together, straight, line backwards and kicking the other one. Let's be fast. I'm going to make a shiva. Here I'm taking a step towards her. And I'm rolling inside of the other one, not getting out. It's very important for Capoeira Angola in order to have an opportunity to continue the game. Okay, so like we're gonna go for Gansho now. Yeah. I'm leading. We're doing the wave as we used to, like we did in the, in the start of the class. And then when I'm gonna go here, she comes with me. I bring my heel to the knee, and then she switches the side. I'm kicking and she needs to pass underneath. And to finish in the parallel. Try not to lose your balance. We're going to the third sequence. We are going to go faster. Another one and then we're going to go fast. Yeah, Lua, then I'm just gonna fake. The moment she has, she has her head, her, her head 
on the floor I can go for the cabestada. This is what I have to do. Just get the hands to go off. The moment she has her hand on the floor, I can switch side. Let's switch fast. We trained uh, several techniques today, standing up, we trained the melody flange, we trained the melody compasso and we trained the gancho. So now let's make a game, let's make a drill out of it. We stand in front of each other in parallel, both of us can kick, there's no uh, rules to who's kicking when or what side. The only rules we have is that we have three kicks. And our base is the parallel, there's no jinga right now. I can go out and escape using the back step. Okay, let's go. Instead, you want to take your capoeira Angola game to the next level, this is for you. Today I want to tell you about the Capoeira Angola Library. The Capoeira Angola Library is a library of over 30 techniques of Capoeira Angola which I use in my classes. Training these 30 techniques is everything you have to know to achieve a good, a respectable level of Capoeira Angola game. You start the same, you go to Negachiva de Angola, lift your leg off the floor, go to Araya, 
and from there you need to lift your hips up. In the library you can also find 10 videos of me teaching bow variations. 10 games of mine and 10 ideas that I like the most. The library is for everyone, for the person who wants to learn himself, who wants to train at home and doesn't know what should he be training and for the teacher who want to give his students new and interesting content. The Capoeira Angola Library helps people keep an active life and train outside of their normal weekly classes and improve everyday training at home. The videos presented have a good quality and the information helps you to understand better about the Capoeira Angola game. Majingero's videos help me stimulate and refresh the way I think about Capoeira. So I only can recommend the Capoeira Angola Library for everybody who wants to learn more about Capoeira Angola. I highly recommend this. Thank you very much. Ashe.